Welcome to the Milk and Cookies podcast. This is the super amazing podcast that has absolutely everything to do with American football and nothing to do with Milk and Cookies. My name is Alex. We got Anthony, Leon, Frankie, and myself. We got a full house today, and we're going to go over week seven, which honestly was an interesting week, to say the least. Um, a lot of games that were a little too close for comfort and a lot of games that were blowout. One that I will give you an example. We Chiefs. Have- well, that too. That's just an Lions play. Rams. How about Dan Campbell going onside kick and fake punt on the same possession? Wow. Dan, Dan Campbell is a wrecking ball. And I really hope that the Lions actually are able to. I hope to do the Lions something. do well. Yeah. As, as, long as, they get, as long as they get one win or two wins this season, that's fine with me. I mean, most likely. I'd say a couple more than just two. Well, then who do they beat? Uh, well, we will go over that in the next episode. Spoiler alert. They'll yes. win this week. I am That's with what Frankie I'm on That's that. That's what I'm saying. I'm with Frankie on that. I'm with um, Frankie. So, yeah, let's just go over with the Kansas City game. Uh, that was just it, embarrassing. I should have not started Mahomes in fantasy. No, you shouldn't have. Especially no. Brady throwing, what, four touchdowns? Yeah. hundred plus yards? You have Mahomes and Brady on your fantasy team? Yeah, he drafted the he drafted Mahomes mm-hmm. in the second round and he drafted Brady in the fourth round. Hey, look, I made Sports Hunter again. Oh yeah. Every day. Every oh, day. Yeah. It, it, that's actually cool. Okay. It is pretty cool. That that we that someone on this podcast made Sports Center. But 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 wait, wait, wait. Yes, he made Sports Center. Let's just leave it at that. He's gonna be on Sports Center. Sports Center. <laughs> The only reason I got that close was because I was trying to meet players at the end of the game, but um, it was all about the kid. It, as it yeah. should be. As it, it was, should and I be. parked them. I, parked, <laughs> I talked to them before the game and everything. I talked to them before the game because I was helping park them. Great kid. Well, yeah. yeah. Of course. The uh, Leon, what was your favorite game of the week? Uh, For me, my favorite game of the week was uh, – just from the start of it, it was the Rams and the Lions, but the ending was pretty, like, you know, deep. But that game had – it had me watching it, at least. I'll tell mm-hmm. you that. It was very, very interesting game, especially because he had Goff yeah. and Stafford. I was pulling for Detroit. Yeah. I mean, I pulled for the Lions, but I would not have been upset if Detroit won at the end of the game. Um, Let's see. What else? Uh, Wait, who, I got one. What? Are the Raiders finally a playoff team? Yes. We've been over this. Like almost every week. Raiders, the Raiders are good. And if their run game is sust- their run game stays sustainable, look out. Yeah, they're five and two, five and two, mm-hmm. and they got a buy this week. Deserve it. It's a pretty well placed buy. I'll give them that. Yeah. Um. Right. Right where I wanted it to be, actually. Yeah. I mean, you I go. Think, in. I think, given the circumstances, that being five and two, impressive. Mm-hmm. I mean, no one yeah. would have thought it. No. Nah, I thought it. I had them at three and fourteen. I'll put it to you that way. I remember that. I think I said <laughs> like eight and nine. So oh, no that's still possible. Yeah. Um, I had the I had the Dolphins out like ten and seven. Yeah, I think we all. I had them at like twelve and five or eleven. Oh, I had them finishing five. like three and fourteen. So I was I was smart. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe a little. Whatever happened to Yogan and Watson? I swear, I swear, if we get Watson, I'm personally burning all my Dolphins jerseys, and wherever Tua goes, I'm going to buy a jersey for that team. I, so I'm you're going to be a Texans fan? Do I don't, you don't want Deshaun Watson? I don't want Deshaun Watson. Why? I want Deshaun Watson. I want Deshaun Watson. I don't want Deshaun Watson. I don't think Deshaun like you Watson didn't is want Justin able. Herbert. You didn't want Justin Herbert. I want you Justin thought... Herbert, too. But... Mm, I Imagine Herbert on the Dolphins. Okay, oh. it wouldn't have been any different. You look look at the Look at what he did on the Chargers. Anthony, oh, I can't say that word because it's a Spanish curse word, but still, I mean, <laughs> dude. A curse word. Like, I would have understood it. it. Look, just look at how Tua's been playing almost this entire year, the past, even even against Atlanta. Okay. I didn't four see the touchdowns, game. 250 yards. Yes, he had two picks, but still, four touchdowns, 250 yards. And then the game beforehand against Jacksonville, 300 plus yards, two touchdowns. Okay. I am still very headstrong in saying that Tua is not the he's not he's not the problem here. Yes, when you're playing two of the worst defenses in the league, 
Okay, I still don't think that he's an issue. I don't think he's the problem. You and I don't think I don't. So think you're Watson, saying if Tua Watson, never got hurt, if Tua never got hurt, y'all would have a better record. Who did we even play when he got hurt? I honestly don't even really remember. Y'all well, played in Indy, Tampa. Well, okay, we wouldn't, have, we wouldn't have won Tampa. Indy, Raiders. Mm, we still would have lost. We still would have lost. To me, Colts. I don't even know if you would have beaten the Colts. That's uh, a toss up. Yeah. Tampa Bay. God no. No, I'm just saying, look, the offensive line, that offensive line is 30th in the league right now, okay? And if you put Deshaun Watson, what would be the difference? Okay, what, a couple more? He can scramble. Uh, uh, Actually, a big difference because of his dual threat abilities. I still don't think Watson would be able to fix Did you watch Deshaun Watson play behind that Houston offensive line? Of course I watched Deshaun Watson go against the Houston offensive line. I don't think that the Dolphins coaching staff is going to be able to handle Watson, let alone somebody like his ability. Are you kidding? When all we do are checkdowns, screen plays, and no pass thrown further than 20 yards. Well, then get a new coaching staff. Well, what do you you think I want? clean house. I want the clean house. I want a new coaching staff. Get your picks back. Get your picks back. I want want the Philly pick back because that's at number two, and we don't have that pick anymore. We had the San Francisco number 10 Wait, what did you all even get for that? We traded back to number six, and we got future picks for next next two years. So So you get your picks back. Way to invest in all that draft capital. It's really bad. Yeah, I know. I know, right? It was y'all's first – I mean, (laughs) just a dumpster fire now. It's it's honestly abysmal and it's disappointing to watch, especially. I never thought you would say that about the Dolphins. They had a, they had a ten and six season last year, and I thought that they were going to make a deep run. Who do y'all got this week? Uh, <laughs> another loss. We got Buffalo. Yeah. Oh, oh, dear in Lord. Buffalo, no less. In Buffalo, so it's a huge. I'll loss. say I'll say something nice at the funeral. I'm just saying, dude. We need we need. I don't think the team is the issue. That defense last year was fantastic, and this year it looks like it looks like I'm watching Atlanta's defense every week. It's I'm awful. Calling it. It's god awful, and I I think getting a new coach, getting a new head coach, new front office, I think will fix a good portion of it. But in terms of new players, you know, what if you all get Byron Leftwich? Byron Leftwich. I I don't know. I don't really know how. I don't. Who? What team is uh, Leftwich? Super you know? Bowl winning offensive coordinator. Okay, what team? Tampa. Oh, oh, Tampa. It depends. I mean, I think it'll be better than Flores. I think anybody would be better than Flores. Hey, Jesus. Super Bowl I, winning. Here, Anthony, just to, just to show you how desperate I am for a new head coach, I would like to have Rex Ryan right now than Brian Flores. Wow. Yeah. So that's not being well. I mean, yeah, that is. I can understand why you think you're being desperate, but Rex Ryan can coach. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. I'd rather have somebody like Rex, Rex Ryan, Ryan hasn't been who in is the, the king of mediocrity in the NFL. He hasn't been in the league in a long time. Uh, Cleveland had a very very good game against Denver on Thursday night game. Um, that was a good win, I thought. Dearness Johnson, the third string running back, out of USF. fantastic. He out of USF. great. He made my fantasy team look so much better, and now he's. I thought I got him from your. Face. Yeah, you do. Oh, thanks for CD Lamb and Jalen Waddle. Oh, thanks for Dearness Johnson and, and Christian Kirk. Don't forget. You're welcome. Anyway, I'm um, gonna win that three hundred and fifty dollars. Mm. Thanks for Lamb. Uh, Green Bay <laughs> against Washington. Green Bay, I think, has also further proved again they are a top contender in the NFC. I think that that, de- that defense has come around the last two weeks. The defense has looked a lot mm-hmm. better, and honestly, that Week One performance that they had against the Saints is looking like 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 just a bad dream at this point. Like they've completely like erased that mental. Talk about the two and five Saints. Who? The Saints. The, the Saints are four and two. The Saints are four oh. and two. Oh, what you think they were five. two and five? Someone I saw a headline say I thought they were two and five. No, man. What are you no. looking at? Saints are no, there was a headline. Right oh, it's probably the Seahawks then. Seahawks. The Seahawks are I mean two Saints and, are they have problems. The Seahawks are two and four, two and five. The one game their defense shows up this weekend. The one game they're the one game they're off their defense shows up, their offense couldn't do crap after the first quarter. No, yeah, no. Funny how that happens, right? Uh, here we go. Here's a game that Frankie will be excited about. Cincinnati completely stunning Baltimore. Yes. 40 yeah, I was surprised about that. We were I was all, too. Oh, everybody was surprised about that, judging the fact that we don't pick Baltimore to win. Um, okay, who's more of a dumpster fire, the Panthers or the Dolphins? The Dolphins. Miami. Panthers no. don't hey, have a quarterback. Hey, hey, quit, hey, quit interrupting this segment on the Bengals here, okay? Yeah. <laughs> the, the one time, one time Frankie is, is all is all ears. Um, let's give the let's give the Bengals credit here. 
The Bengals are the first in the AFC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, by virtue of tiebreakers, the fact that they have not lost a conference game. But up on wood, you go into Baltimore, who had the best record in the AFC, and mm-hmm. beyond it looked like it was going to be a shootout. But then the Bengals defense made a critical stop. Trey Hendrickson, one of the best free agent acquisitions of any team in the offseason, sacks Lamar Jackson, Ravens punted away, and then something called Joe Burrow to Jamar Chase happened. 82 <laughs> yards, Jamar Chase puts Marlon Humphrey on a swivel, which he abused Marlon Humphrey, by the way. Bengals, you just talked about a total domination against a team that had beaten your brains in the previous two years. And by the way, here's the stat. Joe Burrow. Only quarterback to ever against the Ravens. The Ravens have been around since 1996. Only quarterback with 400 passing yards and three touchdowns in a game against the Ravens defense ever. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. And and you all want to say, and you all, anybody that wants to think Justin Herbert's better, I don't know. I mean, it would be close, but even then, I'd still edge for Burrow. Um, Say that again. Here we go. I got another thing. Anthony, you're going to want to pay attention for this. Okay. Um, we've had two teams. And it's surprising that there's two of them that have started 3-0 and and have lost every single game. Since the time. abysmal Broncos. The Broncos. Who yeah, and the Panthers. And the Panthers. Now, I said this back in week four, that the Broncos, when they had their 3-0 and win, that they combined for a record that was at the time was 0-9 in opponents. And now they're 3-4. Yeah. and four. And even the Panthers, the Panthers were one and eight in opponent strength, and now they're three and four. I thought it was one and nine. Well, well, one and eight. Nine game, well, nine games. Um, yeah. Panthers are just abysmal. And they go, yeah, they go to MetLife Stadium to play the Giants, and they lose. At, not, not. It was five to three at the end of the first quarter. Yeah, it wasn't even it was close. five to three in the third quarter. Oh, it was 20. 20 I mean, I missed all 25 the to three, I was working, and the Giants I was working, won so I with all all excuses. The Giants I was working 25 to three. Yeah. In a... <laughs> I was working telling people where to park. Thank you. Call NFL much. Red Zone. Hey, hey, I was working and I still watch the games. Exactly. Okay, I'm in a field telling people where to park. There's and I'm a in a sports bar restaurant. And it was raining, so I didn't want to be on my phone. Dude, you guys, you guys have really nice when I was watching the game. <laughs> um, well, well, you should come down to Florida, Frankie. I know. I need to come. Well, next year I will because the Bengals are playing in Tampa. Oh yeah, Ooh. it's gonna be a murder. That might be a that might be a prime time game. It should be a prime time game, especially with how both those teams are looking. Uh, okay, here, uh, throwing a question out. So New England buried the Jets, fifty four. It's the Jets though. Exactly. Thank you. That's where I was going into this question. Bill Bill Belich- Bill Belichick will bury the Jets for as long as he lives. Well, of course he will, and I hope he does. Will the Jets you know why that be is? Good? You know why that is, right? Well, yeah, because he used to be the head coach for the Jets or an A coach for the Jets before going that to That and because Eric Mangini betrayed him. Well, that's it. Man, that's a long time ago, too. Jesus. 15 years ago. 15. Um, when, the, when the Jets actually had a pulse. <laughs> Dude, the Jets haven't had a, pull, had a pulse since the butt fumble. You kidding? Sounds about right. Yeah, because that was the last time that they actually made the – well, it wasn't the last time they made the playoffs, but it was the last time that they looked good enough to do something in the playoffs. They were good in 2015. They were they came within a game. They were 10-5, and then they lost at Buffalo the last week of the season. Well, yeah, but I'm just saying, like, you know what I mean. Um, let's see. We already talked about the Rams. Uh, Tampa Bay, Barry, Chicago. I feel awful for Justin Fields. That was Justin just, Fields, three picks, three fumbles. He was set up just for a horrible game. Fields is not a franchise quarterback. No, that game should never have been on national television. No. Even I'm a Bucks fan saying that. Okay, Anthony. Should have been Sunday night game. game. You were still at the game. The weather, um, the weather was nicer for that game than it was in San Francisco. Yeah, it rained though. We're San Francisco. I feel I just feel this is why everyone needs an indoor stadium. I like the outdoor stadiums. It's an advantage to Or retractable on roof. No. I'm still a huge supporter of outdoor stadiums. Just pretend, just depending on where it is and the location of it, it's a huge home field. Can advantage. I ask an off-topic, different sport question though? What, Frankie? Who do you got winning the World Series? Uh, the Astros and Braves, 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 Braves
I'd love to see the Braves win, given that I was. I can't stand Atlanta. Houston. As somebody born just outside of Atlanta, I would love to see the Braves win. And Anthony, you know how vocal I am about how much I dislike baseball, but my God, do I hope that the Braves win. I hate that. Why don't, you, well, why don't you like baseball? It's just not my favorite thing in the world. Just but yeah, he'll watch golf. He'll watch golf. I like, yeah, I'll watch golf. I, like well, I don't. I don't like sit down and watch golf. But if it's on, I'm not going to be like, "Oh, let me change." Uh, the during the pan, during quarantine, when there were no other sports on, you better believe I watched golf every weekend. It was the only sport going on during the summer. Some of the times, there's some good. There's some good tournaments. There were. Um, what's it called? Arizona still undefeated going into Thursday night football against Green Bay Week Eight. They are seven That's and zero. Oh. That'll be a heck of a game. Heck of a game. Uh, in the Suppress the 49ers offense 30 to 18. I wouldn't call it suppress, but still. Um, and then New Orleans got really lucky with Seattle. I thought we'll they this week. I thought they would have taken advantage a little bit more of that defense than what I thought. But uh, you know what? Saints are gonna lose this week. Jameis throws four pegs. I hope I hope nothing more than for the Saints to bury Tampa Bay. I know that's not no. gonna happen. But my hmm. God, would that be funny? Jameis is still doing Jameis things, throwing balls over heads, you know, how, making poor decisions. You're right. Jameis is just being Jameis, despite being on a new team and going four and two in the first six games. You're right, right. Jameis is just being Jameis. Jameis is not going to take him to the playoffs, though. So. What's that, Leon? Three interceptions for Jameis. He's still not going to take him to the playoffs. Here, let me let me let me look. Let me just look at Jameis's stats right now before we before we call it. Yeah, but, but, but better than you think. They are a lot better than you think. When he was in Tampa, though, 103 picks in 63 games. Anthony, you know more than anybody else. Look at that man's coaching staff and tell me that it was his fault. His first ever career NFL pass was, was a, a pick, pick six. six to the Tennessee Titans in the 2015 season. I remember watching that game. I yeah. called it right with my dad. I said, look, it's going to be a pick six on the first play. And my dad looked at me and said, oh, my God, how did you know that? And I said, I took a guess. <laughs> a, 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 a good guess, to say the it least. It was a very, very good guess. Jameis Winston in 2021 is 1,114 yards passing, 13 touchdowns on three interceptions. And you want to say those are bad? And you want to say those are bad. He They're still not. has a plentiful other games to mess up. Okay, let's let's just look at the next couple of games that Jameis has. Let's look at the Tampa. next like, three games. Okay, Tampa. Tampa Bay in New Orleans, and then you have the Falcons in New Orleans, and then you have Saints at Tennessee. No, oh, okay. Well, maybe the Tennessee one might be interesting, but still. Maybe Regardless, the Tampa one's going to be interesting. I'll say, I'll say this right now: Tennessee's a team you do not want to face no. in the playoffs. Not really. Not at all. Uh, but I will say the one team that I actively do believe that can suppress Tennessee's run game, Indianapolis. I don't know why, but whenever they play, but whenever Tennessee plays oh, Indianapolis, hold, hold, in hold Indianapolis, hold up, hold up, hold up. What? in what? Indianapolis, Derrick Henry, the last two years, look at the numbers. Why? What are the numbers? Uh, A he's lot. Like 150 plus in both the last times the Titans have played at the Colts. Ooh, okay, maybe I got my yeah, stats a little mixed up. I think, yeah. you, I think you got a little too ahead of yourself there. I got a way a little too ahead of myself there. there. Um, can we just say, can we just say Jamar Chase, the offensive rookie of the year? I thought that was already determined. Wasn't that well, like written you, well, in you know what? It should have been, but it definitely was after. By the way, you ready for this? Mm. Oh, dear Lord. Jamar, hey, shut it. Jamar Chase is on pace for 1,831 receiving yards. That would be fifth most for any single season in NFL history. The only other four receivers with more yards in a single season. Calvin Johnson, Julio Jones, Jerry Rice, Antonio Brown. Two Hall of Famers, two future Hall of Famers. He's a piece. Smart Chase People is certainly – We should have drafted Panay Sewell. Okay. Not anymore, that's for sure. Especially after the first two games. One sack. One sack against the Ravens. That's all we gave up. I'm that telling you, man, I don't know what the Bengals have done to their offensive line. I want to know what they put in the water, but it looks a lot better than last year. When, when, when the Bengals hired Frank Pollock to be their offensive line coach, and they, they had success with him in 2018, and that's what did, that's what did it. They have depth. Signed Riley Reef. Jonah Williams has progressed massively. Well, I shouldn't say massively, but uh, know, enough. Enough this season where you you feel comfortable with him at left tackle. He struggled on Sunday, but you're going up against Justin Houston. I mean, we all know he's one of the best pass rushers in the league of this generation. And then you add in 
Quinn Spain, who has not given up a sack all year. Troy Hopkins, who's gotten season. And then you fact, and then you um, Jackson Carmen uh, from Clemson, Anthony. He has been really good. And like I mentioned, Riley Reef coming over from Minnesota, ten-year veteran, has been very, very good. So you can say they should have gotten somebody in the draft. No, they were confident in what they had. You gotta give Zach Taylor credit. I mean, honestly. I was when well, I'd be the first person to say that heading into the season, I would have put him in the hot seat in the top three for sure for losing his job. But honestly, he's kind yeah. of told, he's proven to me he's not going anywhere for the Bengals for a couple more years. But and by the way, you know, the, he was criticized after the Green Bay game for be, not being aggressive or taking the ball out of Joe Burrow's hands. The Bengals have showed in that game that they could compete with the best teams in the NFL, and then they go into Baltimore, win by twenty four. That's progress right there. We figure what the Bengals have lost to Green Bay and Bengals are Chicago. Playoff team. And Chicago I question Chicago the, the loss to Chicago is bad, but yeah. Yeah, losing yeah. to Green Bay, losing to Green Bay by three in overtime. That's nothing to complain about. No. Did you figure out your that. kicking situation? Our, our kicker situation is fine. The Bear not, kick- after, not after the Green Bay game. You know what, Anthony? The Bearcats kicking situation. If you want to ask me about that, that's fine. The Bearcats. Yeah, the, 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 their place kicker going into the, coming into the season, Cole Smith. He's missed like so many field goals. I forget. I think he's like three of eight. So we switched kickers in the uh, previous game against Navy. Cole Smith actually has an injury right now, so it's how long he's going to be out. But uh, we have Christian Lowry in short range, and then Alex Bay Alex Bales in long range. So the Bearcats have figured out their kicking situation. Evan McPherson's four for four in his last two games. So he's rebounded nicely from missing three field goals over a two game span with Jacksonville Green Bay. I can't believe I just went on like a 60 second kicker rant. I think that's the only one to ever happen ever in football existence. Uh, But anyway, uh, I think that'll wrap up this episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far, Uh, well, I'm not even going to go into the little comment thing. Just comment whatever you want at this point. I really don't care. Comment your favorite food anything but we'll get the one video ready to make go and we'll see what happens we got a little bit more interesting for this week's for prediction so watch that video next if it's like wednesday or something if today's today's tuesday never mind anyway thank you so much for watching we'll be back soon <laughs>